Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. David here, and today, we're back at it. Persona, Persona 25th anniversary, it's going down. We're right about to jump into the month of June, and of course, of course, Atlas will do something in June. Now, I'm not here to be a dumbass with actual expectations, but you know, it's, it's, it's in me, right? It is completely integrated in me. I am a dumbass with actual expectations. So <laughs> today we're still going to talk about the June reveal. And I think as a fellow dumbass, I do think that we may get something interesting. And we've been bummed so many times, right? With Soccer to Town, the festival revealed in February, which was just for Japan. The first reveal, which was wallpapers. Uh, then we got Ultimax. And then the concert reveal in April, which got, eh, the community was mixed up. I was pretty happy about it, but understandably so. Uh, some fans in the community were bummed because they were like, it's the reveal of another reveal, right? Because something will probably get shown and revealed during the concert. But we'll talk about that in another video. Today, I want to talk about June. And just before I explain why I think June can be interesting for the Persona 25th, if you guys could drop a quick thumbs up, it really helps people find my channel and my videos. It is a big help and it takes a second of your time. I do want to hear you guys' thoughts on what will be the reveal in June for the 25th anniversary, whether it's disappointment slash nothing or some type of game reveal, anything. Drop a comment and let me know. You guys' comments are always really interesting in terms of P25. And of course, if you're new to the channel, if you want more content on anything Atlas, Shin Megami Tensei Persona, you're at the right place. Make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to never miss out on any of my Atlas news episodes. So June 2022. Now, this is when Atlas will reveal the next thing that they have to show. I'm saying thing because we don't really know what to expect. Now, for this month in particular, I'm going to bring up a game again, a game that I've talked about a ton in uh, December and also for the February reveal, a game that I'm extremely confident will release in 2022 for consoles or just in the future at some point, and that would be Persona 4 Golden. Now, I'm sure some of y'all will be tired of hearing me talking about Persona 4 Golden, but I just am strongly feeling that it is next in line in terms of a mainline Persona game getting ported somewhere. So no, I don't think it's Persona 3 on PC. I don't think it's Persona 5, PC Switch, things of that nature that you guys all want. Uh, I, don't, I do think those still have a strong shot of happening, but I have just a gut feeling that P4G is next in line. Am I an insider? Do I know stuff? I don't know shit, <laughs> okay? I'm just following Atlas News and I feel like there's a lot of reasons to believe that P4G is next, and I feel like Persona 4 Golden getting revealed on consoles makes a ton of sense in June, and let me explain why. The first and main thing is because if you guys didn't know, in June of 2012, 10 years ago exactly, Persona 4 Golden was first released in Japan, exclusively on PlayStation Vita. That is when the game first launched, so that little Vita case, yeah. It is going to be the 10th anniversary of the original P4G release in Japan uh, in June of 2022. So it would be a great celebration to say, hey, here is Persona 4 Golden playable for everyone else who doesn't have a chance to play it. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, here you go, P4G. That would be cool. And I'll talk about when they could reveal that a little later on. But I feel like there's even more juice uh, that we need to, to look at here in terms of P4G on consoles. There's, of course, all the rumors uh, and speculations, the Zippo stuff. I don't want to get too deep into that because it's rumor territory. So we just we need to take it with a grain of salt. But there's a lot of rumors about P4G. And there's also the fact that P4G was also revealed to be coming to Steam and Shadow dropped on Steam in June of 2020, so two years ago. So it's going to be the 10th year anniversary of the Vita version and the second year anniversary of P4G on Steam in terms of June. So June is definitely a P4G month, apparently. So it's really interesting. Now, the Steam version was revealed during PC Gaming Show in June of 2020. And now we're talking about a uh, console port. So obviously, it's not going to get revealed during PC Gaming Show. I don't need to explain why. And I don't even know if there's a PC Gaming Show this year. But anyways, there is something happening in June that I think could be where we'll see P4G, and that would be Summer Games Fest. Now, Summer Games Fest is pretty much the new E3. Uh, uh, E3 is canceled for this year because of the pandemic, and Jeff Kelly, the hype man himself, he uh, is the host of the Game Awards, if you didn't know. He is also going to host a show 
in June, which is going to be the Summer Games Fest showcase. And he says there's going to be a lot of game reveals and stuff like that. I have a feeling that this is when we may see the next Persona uh, Times Volume 5. I think this would be a great spot for Atlas to drop it there. And it's not just a random guess, other than the fact that it's June specifically, that there is going to be a Persona Times Volume 5 in June. There's also the fact that Atlas has history with Jeff Keighley. Now, a few years ago, it's more Nintendo than Atlas, but Joker was revealed to be coming to Smash Brothers as DLC number one, uh, Smash Ultimate. That was revealed at the Game Awards. I think it was 2017, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, so I know it's Nintendo decided to show it, but still, it's, it's Atlas presence at the Game Awards. Of course, Persona 5 that year won a ton of awards as well. 2021, you guys may remember, Persona Times Volume 2 is when we got Persona 4 Arena Ultimax revealed, and that was revealed during the Game Awards 2021 pre-show. Game Awards hosted by Jeff Keighley. So Atlas has history of not only having their stuff at Jeff Keighley's show, but also their Persona Times at Jeff Keighley's show. So per P4G at Summer Games Fest, I'm not sure why, but I feel like there's a lot of smoke and we may get some type of fire. Is it a confirmation? Not at all. This is my prediction. This is what I think will happen for June. And you know what? I don't really want to give other predictions because I feel like this is what's going to happen if something is going to get announced in terms of a port. Now, I know what you guys are going to ask. If it's not P4G, what is it going to be? Or does that mean you think the only Persona port coming is P4G? No, not really. I just feel like it's next in line for all the reasons that I listed. And I feel like there's a lot of coincidences in terms of June 2022 and Persona 4 Golden potentially coming to consoles. I hope you guys are excited for what's to come. I know I am. I don't want to get my expectations too up for sure, and I suggest you guys keep your expectations in check. Of course, I was joking at the beginning of the video with the dumbass actual expectations thing. I feel like it's fun to speculate about the Persona times and whatever happened in June, whether it's something just for Japan, uh, not for the West, new merch, anything of that nature. I'm still glad now because I know that at the concert, at the end of the anniversary, we're going to get something very great and we'll talk about that later on on the channel. It's going to be it for today's video. I wanted to hit record and talk a little bit with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, once again, quick thumbs up really helps. And if you want to stay up to date on anything Atlas, Shin Megami Tensei Persona, you are at the right place. Make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. We will see you in the next one. Bye.